Hey guys, I'm Pranita Reddy from Informatica Support. In this video, we will learn how to publish a task flow using REST API. The agenda for this presentation is introduction, how to publish a task flow using REST API in CDI, a small demo from Postman and summary. Introduction. Once we create a task flow in IICS, on the UI, we see a publish option, but Today we will learn a new way to publish task flows that is using REST API. ISCS provides a REST API resource that is V1 publish resource to publish task flows. In a single REST API call, you can publish single or multiple task flows. At a maximum, you can publish 99 task flows in a single call. You also have an option to get the status of the task flow published using REST API. We will understand how this flow works. First, you need to log in into IICS using a post call. In the post body, you will need to provide username and password. And in the URI, you will provide your login URL. And to publish the task flow, you need to use a post call. In the body, you will provide the name of the task flow, the path of the task flow, and any other attributes required. And here in headers, you will need an additional header that is session ID and this session ID you can get from the response of the previous login call. And if the publish task flow action is successful, you would receive a 202 response in the postman. Later, to check the status of the published job, you can use get call. For this, you would need job ID from the publish call. Now we will quickly move to the demo part. Once you, okay, once you log in into Postman, you need to log into IICS by providing username and password in the body. In headers, you will need to pass accept and content type as application JSON. And in the URI, you will use your login URL with v3 login URI attached. After providing the body, when you click on send, you will receive a response which will have session ID and base API URI. This would be needed in the next publish call. And for the publish call, you would need to do a post call. For this, you would need base API URL from the previous call and infa session ID also from the previous call. Infa session ID is the session ID and base API URL is the base API URL from here. You can just enter that here. One thing you need to remember is here in the login response, we can see na1dmusinformaticacloud.com slash SAS. But when you provide it in the URL here, it is required to remove SAS. Otherwise, the request would go invalid. And in the body here, you need to select raw and then pass it in this way. Here, TF publish API is my task flow name and explore Pranita testing is my complete path in IICS and dot task flow dot XML is an extension that is required. And once you click on send, you would get a response with the job ID, then the job status. And here 202 accepted means the API is accepted and the job has started. You can just copy this ID and then check for publish status. You just need to provide this here and then click on send. You can see the job status as success, which will return 200 OK. And just to validate if the task flow has been published successfully or not, we will quickly log in into IICS and check for this job. We can just check for the job. And then see the status. It shows as published. That means this API has worked. And 
And in the summary, you can refer to this below KB article, which provides detailed step by step on how to publish a task flow using REST API. Also, for any doubts, you can refer to the REST API documentation for any other APIs required. Hope this video helped. Thank you.